<laughs> yep, so I got some pencils. A thousand of them to be exact. We're doing colored pencil and epoxy table. So this project has been on my bucket list for a very long time and I'm very excited about it. So let's get this thing started because I have something super special for the table lace. It's a little bit of a secret because I still don't know exactly how I'm going to pull it off, but it's going to look cool in the end. So let's get these pencils cut up and uh, get going. Welcome to the Comar Project. And that, guys, is what 998 pencils look like. We're gonna make it an even thousand. I got myself into. What's up, dude? What did mom do to you? Why are you wearing a balloon on your head? You don't like it? <laughs> I love you. Alright, so we have our layout all figured out. I'm gonna do a world map on this thing. This is gonna be really cool because it's gonna teach the kids a little bit about geography and it's gonna look really cool, right? Should I get a topographical correct representation? <gasps> yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay, I need a reference. Map of the world. Okay. Yeah, so let's get going. So let me explain to you guys why I'm making this table. About six months ago, I made a live edge coffee table for our living room, and the kids decided they were going to use it for their slime projects. Not to mention scratches, pen marks, and stickers all over it. So now I'm making them a fun table that they can do all their projects on and I don't have to worry about it being destroyed. So I want this thing to be as accurate as I could for the kids, but I didn't want it to be boring. So I mixed up a bunch of fun colors for the land features, but then I still kept the jungles and the rivers with blue and green. <laughs> I just picked up another 444 colored pencils. Cutting them into three pieces is going to be in like, what, 1300, something like that? I don't know. Ooh, and I get some crazy, crazy art colored pencils too. We're going to try these out because they're way cheaper, like half the price. So we'll, we'll see. The crazy art pencils were just fine for this project. The only difference that I found between those and the Crayola ones is that the Crayola ones have a larger or thicker lead, which means that the crazy art ones have a smaller dot when you're looking at it. But to be honest with you guys, I can't even tell in some of the areas. And I'm the one that put them there and I know where they are. So for this project, it's definitely going to work. Now the reason why I'm gluing all them together is because I couldn't stand the form up and stack the colored pencils on top of each other yet. I only could do certain parts of the map at a time based on the colors that I had. So I needed them to be glued together until I could find enough blue to make the oceans and fill in those gaps. <laughs> I don't know if I should cry or laugh because that wasn't enough. Yeah, so this is a thousand more colored pencils. Blue colored pencils. And that puts us at 3,300 colored pencils. So cut into three pieces. That's just under 10,000. 10,000 pieces that I've glued together to make this thing work. And I am really hoping that this is gonna be enough because that's 10,000. These blue pencils came from eBay of all places. I found a dealer who sold each color separately in 20 to 40 pencil bundles. This was such a relief because now I had all the blue pencils I needed without having to buy all the other colors that went along with them. All right guys, so the pencils are finally done and we're talking about 10 
2,000 pieces of colored pencils in this thing. I had no idea it was gonna be this much when I started, but you know, I guess I kind of dive into projects and see where they take me. But we're ready to start pouring the epoxy. And I'm gonna be using Total Bolt's Thick Set. This is a clear casting epoxy, which is gonna work great for this application. We're gonna pour one inch, and then with the second pour, we're gonna get up to two inches. But with this product, you can actually pour up to two inches. I just wanna be on the safe side. I wanna say thank you to Total Bolt for sponsoring this crazy project and supporting the channel. If you guys are looking for a crystal clear and reliable epoxy, make sure you guys check out their website link in the description below. They have everything from Thick Set epoxy, fast and slow activators, and even the tabletop epoxy that I'm gonna be using later in this project. For this top, I think I used just under three gallons of epoxy. And that's not all because I got something special planned for the legs. So this thing sat in my shop for about two months because I had other projects that I had to take care of, but it was finally time to start flattening this thing. I dusted off my old router sled and started flattening it little by little. I made sure to take very light passes and take my time because I didn't want the pencil lead to start blowing out once it's exposed from the epoxy. All right, it's everybody's favorite day. It's leg day. Everybody loves leg day. Not me. I, I, don't, I don't like leg day. Focus. I am, I'm trying to make some legs. <laughs> okay, let's just, let's just cut up some wood. I thought it would look really cool if the tabletop was actually floating on a giant pencil, or at least it seemed like it was floating on top of a giant pencil. And the only way I could do that is with clear casting epoxy and give it the illusion that it's floating, but it's actually not. While that's set up, I turn my attention to finishing the top. I use a piece of plywood to help me cut out a circular shape out of the tabletop. And then I did a whole lot of sanding with a belt sander, orbital sanders, and I rounded over the edges as well, just to give it a nice little soft touch for the kids. 120, come to me. Can't you see? Bend over. <laughs> I'm gonna bend you over. <laughs> It's time to turn these pieces of epoxy and wood into something that resembles more like a table lid. And to do this, I'm going to be using a table saw jig designed by Michael Alt. He did a thorough YouTube video showing exactly how to make this jig and it worked amazing. I'm going to even link to his YouTube channel and Instagram account in the description below, so make sure you guys check him out.
I'm gonna paint you up and make you look so pretty. Yeah, so we're gonna give these things some dashing colors and got a little special touch that we're gonna add to them, but we're looking good and we are almost there, guys. So let's wrap this thing up and surprise the kids with them. And that, guys, is the last leg, and I'm so excited to flip this thing over. I'm gonna give it five minutes. <laughs> that doesn't help. All right, it's about to go down. The girls are gonna get their first look at the table, and I'm excited. Girls! <laughs> Is that for us? That's so cool! Wow. What do you guys think? It's amazing! Is this glass under here? Wait, this white one's us. The pixels are there. A lot. Are there like, like a million? Yeah, there's like a million color pencils. <laughs> okay, maybe it wasn't a million pencils, but it sure was a lot. And hopefully the girls will enjoy it and use the table for many years to come because at the end of the day, that's really what matters. So this project was a new experience for me because it didn't have any traditional joinery or screws. Everything was pretty much epoxy. It was epoxy together, it was made out of epoxy. Everything except for the table legs. And I didn't get into great detail to show you guys exactly how I did that process because I'm gonna be releasing a separate video just on the table legs because I think it deserves its own explanation and the whole process of it. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss that video. Thank you so much for joining me on this experience. I will see you guys next time. Ice cream flavor preference. Chocolate. More likely to prefer chocolate over vanilla. Knew it. I saw that.